we are definitely into the more colder part of the year where colds and flu have a very good chance of getting hold of you. And when it comes to supplementation, vitamin C is always a popular option in, in terms of strengthening the immune system. But does it really work? And if so, how does it work and also how much is needed? So to answer all of these questions, we have our vital expert, Andrea Duplessis, with us this morning to give us the rundown. Andrea, always nice to sit down and chill with you and getting some advice from you. Well, thanks. It's good to be here. Yeah. So you know what? Walking around in the shopping centers, a lot of people, mm. they have the sniffles, they coughing. So it is that time of the year. So I'm hoping that you can tell us a bit more about vitamin C because it is a popular choice of supplements. Definitely. I think lots of people pop the vitamin C tablets when winter comes, but often ask the question, well, is this a good investment? Does it really make a difference? Exactly. Does it really work? Mm. Well, luckily we've got research that has shown that there's substantial evidence um, to prove how vitamin C can reduce the risk of catching a cold, so it supports your immune system. It can actually reduce the severity of your symptoms if you already have a cold. Um, and it can also reduce the duration of a cold with 1 to 1.5 days. Wow. So three very strong things. Reduce your risk, reduce the severity of the symptoms, and also reduce the duration of a cold. All right, so it's definitely proven to work. Yes. So your body, yes. how, how exactly, how, what, what is the function of vitamin C in your body? Well, how it actually works um, used to be a bit of a um, question mark because they, they weren't quite sure how can vitamin C do those things. Yeah. But they've seen that interesting things happen with your immune cells when you've got a cold. They use more vitamin C. Oh, wow. So vitamin C is almost used as a metabolite by your white blood cells that are fighting the infection. So vitamin C can increase the activity of those white blood cells and also protect them from not dying off in battle mm. so quickly. So, yes, so it kind of makes sense to take a little bit more vitamin C during the winter months when you are more susceptible to disease. Well, you see, that's a good question because often people say vitamin C because it's water soluble. If you take more, you're wasting your money because okay. your body's just going to flush out what it can't absorb because your body can't store vitamin C. Mm. Um, so um, on average, your body needs about 100 milligrams of vitamin C just to cover your basic needs. Right. So if you take a lot more than that, I mean, how much is your body going to actually use? But when you're sick, your body can use more. Okay. So it makes sense then to supplement with more. Okay, so can you, can you actually get the, enough vitamin C into your body through, through diet alone without buying a supplement? Well, I'll, I'll show a good comparison here. Okay. I mean, here we have a chewable vitamin C tablet. Okay. So it contains 300 milligrams vitamin C. So that is a good dose if you want to sort of support your immune system yeah. through winter. And it's chewable, it tastes nice, it's a nice little thing to have. But here we've got the, the big gun. This is a <laughs> big gun. Um, tablet with 1,000 milligrams vitamin C. All right. So some people don't like tablets, so it's good to know then where can you get vitamin C through your diet. Oranges we know is a Oranges good we know, exactly. So you can count out the oranges in there and I'll All stop right, you okay. to say for the same amount of vitamin C, 1,000 milligrams, how many oranges do you need to eat? All right, uh, well, I'll take a guess first of all. Let's go one, one two, three, let's stretch it, four. Okay, shall I help you? Five, six, six seven, seven eight, eight. Are you kidding me? Nine, ten, ten eleven, what? Well, is... between 13 and 15, depending on the size of the oranges. Are you serious? Yes. On a daily basis, just to get enough vitamin that's C involved, right. that's actually in there. So, well, so look at the comparison. That is just, yes. wow, that is ridiculous. So it's amazing how much of the concentrated vitamin C that can actually yeah. fit into a tablet. And this is not what you need every single day, yes. the whole year. Definitely not, because, I mean, that seems unrealistic. I mean, surely you can't be expected to eat that every day. Every day, no. So that's where the convenience with tablets come in. So when you're feeling, when you're feeling the onset of a cold or a flu, it's okay to up your dose. What about like something like 2,000 milligrams a day? Would that yes, be fine? that's fine. You know, we've got a safety um, range based on research. They say the minimum you need is 100 milligrams a day. Yes. The maximum you can take every day, safely for the rest of your life, is 2,000 milligrams a day. Okay. So that's your safe range. If you take more than that, you're likely to get a bit of a stomach upset. Yes. Um, so it, it's good to stay within the safe range. Right. And also I do know that when you do up your vitamin C intake, you might find that you, your body becomes a little bit more acidic. Your stomach. Yeah. Is there anything that you can do for that, maybe? Well, um, there are actually things that they do with supplements to help combat, because, I mean, vitamin C is ascorbic acid, so by nature it's acidic. Right. So there are two things. These tablets, the, this is the Vital Maxi C specifically. That's the 1,000 has, milligram, yeah. Yes, ha, you can see it has this orange coating, and in that coating is a prebiotic ingredient, so it's something that has a protective effect over your digestive system. Right. So that softens the blow, definitely. And these, um, that's a vital chewable vitamin C tablets. 
So these tubal tablets actually are buffered. So what they do is they mix a, sort of a plant fiber with a vitamin C, which reduces the acidity in your digestive system. So those are two very good options to go for yes, during the winter. Yes, definitely. Right, cool. You can taste one of these. I'm going to grab one it right now. It is a cherry flavored. A che oh, wow, a cherry flavored. You're spoiling me this morning. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. Cherry this morning. Great stuff. So remember, there we go. Vitamin C, very, very important when it comes to the winter months. Get that, get that thousand or two thousand milligrams in, and make sure that you are healthy throughout these cold months. That's good. That's very nice. Trust Vital for your family's health.